This question gives us a block diagram and asks us to find the transfer function. And the way the block diagram is drawn, you might want to take each of these as a separate system and then treat them in cascade, or you can follow the input through and then add scale and delay as necessary. So I'll, I'll adopt the uh, latter approach here, um, but there are various ways of doing this. So because we have these delay in the Z domain, it might be more helpful to treat the input and the output as uh, X of Z and Y of Z. And if we take an intermediate point here, say, and call this P or P of Z, we can now look at the output of this additional, this uh, addition operator. So we have X going in, and we have a delayed version of P scaled by a factor of minus half also going in. So we can write P of Z in terms of X of Z. So I'll, I'll attempt that here. So I'll say P of Z is equal to X of Z plus minus half times Z to the minus one times P of Z. Because it's P that's being delayed and then multiplied by minus half. Now I can rearrange that just to write P of Z as a function of X of Z. So that's X of Z divided by 1 plus half Z to the minus 1. Now I can do something similar here to find Y of Z. So y of z appears to be the sum of p of z and a scaled and delayed, that's the delay, that's the scale, version of y of z. And because we now know that p can be written in terms of x, we simply substitute that expression in there. So I can say that y of z is equal to x of z over 1 plus half z to the minus 1 plus a quarter z to the minus 1 times y of z. And I can rearrange that by moving the y term to the left. And I can say y of z, um, I can I actually do it all in one step, y of z over x of z is simply 1 over 1 plus a half z to the minus 1 over 1 minus a quarter z to the minus 1. And that would be my final answer. That would be the transfer function. What we've just found is the ratio of the output to the input.